Okay, in this video I'd like to show you how to add complex numbers and other complex number operations on the TI-83+. Plus. So you have a circuit with four impedances. Um, they add together in this fashion. The goal of this video is not to show you how to add the impedances, but how to evaluate this expression once you have it. So what to enter on your calculator? You'll notice that there's j's in this expression. Well, in math we use the letter i to represent the square root of negative 1. In circuit analysis we use j because i is already used for current. So here's what you want to enter. So I'm going to do it step by step. 4 plus 1 divided by, open parenthesis, open 2 actually, 1 divided by 6i, i is over the decimal point, Close those two, plus open one divided by eight minus four i, four i, and then close them all out. A way to check if you've closed them all is count how many open to the right. One, two, three, four, five, and how many open to the left? One, two, three, four, five. So you've done them all. Add them, and you get 8.24 plus 9.94 roughly i and you see the i and j are exchanged here in order to get this phasor representation we need to convert to polar coordinates you can do this by pressing second angle to get r which is this option put 8.24 and then comma 4.94 enter you get 9.61 for R, and for the angle, the phase, go back to angle, choose the sixth option, and put in the same thing, 8.24, comma, 4.94. Enter. It's in radians. You can change back to degrees here in mode. Degrees is right here. Press enter. Quit. Enter. 30.94 degrees, as you see here. And as a side note, uh, just about current J and I right here. You can pause the video if you want to read that. And these are the equations that your calculator uses to switch between polar and Cartesian coordinates. Thanks for watching.